there and welcome to the July edition of the First Friday Video. I'm joining you today from the Rang Student Union as we continue the preparations for students to be back on campus this fall. By now, you've had a chance to see our Return to Learn plan for fall 2020. If not, you can find it linked to our website and to our coronavirus response page. It was the work of dozens of faculty members and staff members from across campus who came together to create guidelines that will enable us to teach and to live on campus this fall. We'll ask everyone to pay attention to the little things. Standing on dots that space out lines for services. Not sitting in chairs that have been marked off. Walking to the right in hallways and using the right side doors to enter and exit buildings. It's all about minding the gaps, just like you'd hear in London. Keep the gaps in our pack for safety. Face coverings are also a very important factor. As I mentioned last month, I'm wearing a cloth face mask in public because I'm concerned about others. Our state health department and CDC have both said that using masks or face coverings are very important in limiting the spread. We will be asking all of our students and employees to comply when they're on campus. Like I said last month, mask up and wolves up when we see each other indoors. The last item I'd like to stress for our entire community, students, faculty, staff, and families, is that the plans we've created are based on what we know today. The one thing that coronavirus has taught us and that we can all agree upon is that it is constantly changing and our response has to also be flexible. In the plan that we've created, you'll see where we've asked all of our instructors to be ready if we have to shift to all online instruction or to shift to hybrid classes that mix on-campus instruction with online instruction. Now, as we wrap up the summer edition of the First Friday video, I want to make a special appeal to everyone. Each month I close by telling you how you can reach me, and many of you do, and also follow me on social media. But I know that these are times of great stress and I want to reinforce that you can email me at chancellor at astate.edu with any concerns that you have. I'm here to help any way that I can. All right, until next time, remember, it's masked up and wolves up.